And this morning, oftentimes we hear about devastating stories about children who cannot live safely with their own families. In turn, they may be placed either with relatives, an emergency shelter, or a foster home. That is when Benchmark Family Services steps in. And to explain the process, we have Amy Villarreal. So, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. And tell us a little bit more about Benchmark Family Services. Well, Benchmark has been um, in, text, or in service for about 14 years and in Texas for about seven, I believe and um, here in the Rio Grande Valley for five years. Yeah, and your mission is basically to ensure the safety of children, um, specifically for you guys here in the Valley. Yes, there's a, a large call and need for foster parents to help with these children who are being removed because of abuse, neglect, or some sort of domestic violence. Yeah, and you see, you're seeing large numbers, and unfortunately the big problem is that you don't have enough foster homes uh, to really right. accommodate for these children. Right, there's a lot of children that we unfortunately have to turn away because we don't have the room for them and they go into a shelter in Corpus Christi um, until they're f uh, found a place. Right, and how can somebody get involved if they'd like to become a foster parent? It is a lengthy process. Uh, they can call one of the offices and uh, they get, they're given an application uh, to fill out and included in that is criminal background checks, uh, FBI checks, CANRIS. Uh, there's some courses, trainings that they have to go through uh, and maintained throughout the years at being foster parents. Uh, there's home studies that are done, inspections on the home. Um, we, we run a very thorough uh, check and training with these parents to make sure that they can care for you know every need of the child. Yeah, and it's so important because you know there is no place to put these children. I mean, the homes are really the only thing you have. There's no emergency emergency shelter for kids. No. Um, unlike even you know animals or pets, they have an, uh, emergency shelters for them. But there's nothing for children, which is pretty ironic to me. And this is why you're calling out to so many people to please come forward and help. Yes, yes, because unfortunately, a lot of these kids go. They're either in the shelters or they're at the CPS office and we need to find them a home, mm -hmm. uh, some place where they can be safe and understand that there is a positive way of living, mm -hmm. uh, not what they're used to. Okay, and if some people want more information on this, where can they call and what are some of the requirements? You have to be 21 years of age and older. You can be married, you can be single, um, you can be retired. We have our professional families as mm -hmm. well as our retired families. Okay. Uh, we have the stay-at-home moms. Um, and they can call any one of our offices. Um, we have one there in McAllen. Uh, the next one, I believe, was in San Antonio. We have Houston, Dallas, uh, several areas in Texas. Um, and once they give us a call, we can link, lead them through the process. All right, Amy, thank you so much. Such an important message. Thanks so much for being thank with you. us. Let's go ahead and send it over to Victoria.